and welcome back to the channel. On this video I thought I'd start right here at the speed limit sign on this road and I'm in a residential area right now and the speed limit right here is 25 miles per hour. Most times around these residential areas the speed limit is between 20 to 25 is usually speed limit and what I want to talk about today is not necessarily the speed limit but just signs in general road signs so i was thinking as as e-bike laws evolve as they are right now they're slowly evolving and changing uh there's a lot of new riders out there that aren't necessarily familiar with the classes class one class two class three and like i've said in previous videos i wish they would just trade those in for speed limit but anyway i was thinking though as uh, e-bike laws evolve what about having speed limit or any other kind of road signs for e-bikes just like uh, you know uh, cars and trucks have and motorcycles um, they have road signs and those road signs sometimes don't apply to the bike in, for example the speed limit if we go on a road that's 35 well that's exceeding the speed limit that we're legally allowed to ride on an e-bike no matter where you are i don't think there's any speed limit at least in the u.s for e-bikes that's that exceeds class three which is 28 miles per hour so and a lot of new e-bike riders who are brand new to it may not even be familiar with the the classes of bikes and how fast you can really go so i say you know could the future be road signs for electric bikes and also maybe make it a little more clear on bike trails or bike paths or shared pedestrian slash bike paths um, the speed limit a lot of times the speed limit for those most times i think is maybe 15 i've seen some as low as 10 and i've even seen five miles per hour before but usually it's 15 or 10 I mean, a lot of times for myself, I can't even get up to uh, that speed because it's just too congested, congested. And you can't get up to that kind of speed because you're navigating around either people or animals or children. And I think that would be a good thing, though, to uh, have some road signs um, to make it clear you know if they're gonna change up these uh, e-bike laws and more riders out there why not why not go ahead and and make it nice and clear so everybody can see just what you can or cannot do I don't know just a thought I had and uh, let me know in the uh, comments if you uh, agree or disagree with that or are you just kind of on the fence with that one now this one stop is good of course for everybody we all have to stop right there although i could technically have slowed down yield and then go but I'm in a habit now of stopping completely. The only time I'm not stopping is if I'm in a group of riders and somebody else is out front and saying it's clear to go and so we're all going through without everybody individually stopping. Uh, they're letting us know that nobody's coming, but.
a blustery day today, I would say. Temperatures barely over 50. And we've had a little uh, on off rain, but right now it's kind of off. But it's probably going to start up before long. And uh, I'm taking the chance here not wearing my rain pants. Probably not the smartest thing to do, but we'll see how wet or if I get wet. I feel a few drops, but so far so good. I do have my glasses on though, protecting my eyes because riding with rain coming down and no glasses is not good. First of all, you should not do it. And secondly, if you do, you'll pay the price because I've had that happen before. I'm just gonna turn around when I get a chance, car coming. I've had that happen before and uh, forgotten my glasses and uh, that rain not only blinds you, you can't see where you're going, but it stings too. So I suggest wear some form of eye protection. Large speed bump here. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think as that wind is hitting me right in the face. Uh, what you think of the uh, having road signs for electric bikes to let the people know, especially speed. That's probably the big one. But Uh, yeah, that would be uh, good. Will it happen? I don't know. But if e-bikes become more and more popular and laws change, I could see it happening. Spring which we're into now as we're almost to the month of May uh, spring has become now my favorite time of year I like it uh, one reason I like it is because I know that bike season is going to be in full swing if it isn't already for most people and I don't know, everything looks so great, the colors are all coming through, and I, I like fall as well, but the sad part about fall is that we're moving into winter, and the not so nice time of the year to ride your e-bike, if you ride. You know, getting back to the uh, signs, the road signs, maybe they could do it kind of like, I'm thinking back, I think it was the late 70s and early 80s, if you didn't already know, I'm from, I'm from Canada, in Ontario to be exact, and We, uh, in the late 70s, went into, uh, met we went to metric uh, from uh, standard measurement and road signs, for example, car uh, speed limit signs would have both miles per hour and kilometers to get people used to the uh, kilometers per hour and how fast it was in comparison to miles per hour. So. Uh, so you'd have your sign with the large number being the kilometers per hour, for example, on a highway, it would be 80 kilometers per hour, and then below that, they would have the smaller number being uh, the miles per hour, which was 50 miles per hour. So maybe they could do something that, like that, like under the sign for cars, put the uh, amount for electric bike.
but they did that for uh, for a few years just like on the uh, the radio um, you know when they gave the forecast or TV they would give it to you the temperature or, or measurement of snow or rain in both uh, metric and uh, standard measurement and uh, so that got people used to it and that, that could be the same for the bike you could put signs for the bikes I think it would be a good thing because maybe you're riding your bike in a state like you rent a bike and you're not sure what the speed limit is in, in that state for electric bike and then instead of having to go look it up which is not a big deal I guess these days everything gets looked up on your phone or computer uh, you'd know all right well that's going to do it for this video and if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button and if you would like to subscribe and support the channel thank you very much just hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit the notification bell and you'll be notified and also if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video go ahead and leave that in the comments below and once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.